I'm just so excited. Now we get to talk to Rebecca Rio Frio, and she's from the United Kingdom. Uh, she is chair and director for the United Kingdom Parliamentary Society of Arts, Fashion, and Sport, CEO of Art Infusion TV and Marketing Manager at Anglia. Is it Anglia Ruskin? Anglia. Anglia Ruskin. Ruskin University in London. And during her early working life, and this is fascinating to me, and I want to hear more about this. During her early working life, Rebecca literally became the eyes of an American novelist, travel writer, and renowned war correspondent, Miss Martha Gellhorn, whose eyesight had apparently sadly deteriorated. Gellhorn first achieved an uh, international recognition for bravely covering the Spanish Civil War with her then husband, Ernest Hemingway. The legendary war reporter inspired Rebecca to not just follow what she saw around her, but to express her emotions to illustrate what she felt. Moreover, Gellhorn encouraged Rebecca to balance her artistic creativity with her business mindset. Rebecca, please welcome. Oh, thank you for that introduction. Um, if you want to know more about Martha, by all means, you can ask me any question. But um, as the time is, is really small at the unlimited at the moment, I just wanted to, to give you nine tips during this coronavirus for artistic minds. There is no denial that economically the art world is a negative series. And paradoxically, amount of many fashion shows and art exhibitions being canceled and postponed, some artists have taken the needed break that really they needed. And, and during these this few months, I have had several profound conversations from different creatives, people from the society that I'm part of, and um, people in the government as well. And alongside the frustration and due to order cancellations and losing revenues, many artists are shifting their environment and reshaping their visions. Uh, like example, Milan, he adapted real fashion shows that have been in his shows, that incredible. And then he put it on, 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 on CGI and, and it's, it's amazing that it's still we can adapt. As, as humans, we can adapt to different things and is this not the end of the world? Actually, it's the beginning of new things. But, um, but we know that every action, everything that is happening at the moment have a reaction. And ma the majority of these changes are positive, but sometimes the, the uncertainty of, of this new life will affect us emotionally and affect our well-being. So for that reason, I would like to give you nine tips that, that help me daily. First of all, declutter. Declutter everything uh, physically and emotional around you and, and get rid of everything that, and everyone that doesn't give you peace. Uh, second, learn something new. Um, improve and acquire skills and uh, never, uh, look for something new, maybe a new inspiration. Third, stay active, always active, walk, exercise, enjoy nature. And fourth, chat with friends. Not every friend, but good friends. People that they are good around you, with good energy. And uh, five, uh, find a mentor. Someone that is knowledgeable, someone is trustworthy, someone that can guide, through, guide you through success is very, very important. Um, someone that can give you their honest opinion, someone that is gonna be there for you when you need someone to talk to and improve also another thing is to improve the social media platform. We spend hours and hours looking uh, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and we laugh and we like the videos, we share those videos, but at the end of the day, sometimes we don't understand how they work, the SEO of it. So take this time that you have no many things to do to improve your internet skills and become visible um, in social media. Uh, seven, take a break of everything. Take a break of people around you. Uh, take a break from, from your husband, from your boyfriend, from your team, and give time to yourself. 
uh, sit in quiet and, and it's, it stay in silence is so important. Uh, and that gives me the, the async um, self-care to check ourselves, to go to the doctor, to get vitamins, to stay positive, to get positive things around us is so important at this moment. And lastly, um, a project of growth. For me, it's uh, always when I have a problem or when I have something that is bothering me and something that is beyond my, my power, I put my energy, instead of worrying about something, I put my energy in a project, in something that sometimes I think is impossible. And I put all this en negative energy and, and that negative energy is transformed to a positive and creative energy. So I start today, I think it, buying a house, buying a, a mansion, a castle, something really big, something that you think is impossible and you will make it, you will make it possible. This is so important. And also check around you online, people that help you with the, with the financial side, government side, people that they can help you to improve your business and people that can help you emotionally as well. And I can send some details here in the UK who to talk to uh, if you feel overwhelmed during this coronavirus and that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. All very important reminders for all of us. As you were all listening, did anybody think what I thought, which was there were a couple of things I went, oh yeah, I, I think I do that. And then a couple of them, I haven't been doing that. That one I haven't been doing. So I think we can all benefit from being reminded of these things that are so important. We think we know them, but we get so wrapped up, we forget to do them. No, Rebecca. No. Yes, the thing is, many times we know them. It is a very common thing. You're bombarded by these things, but we don't practice them. We read about them, but we don't do them. Many times, well, not all of you, but sometimes I, I don't take time to, for myself or oh, take time to go to nature. It's very important. It is. Thank you. Thank you for Thank that you. wonderful reminder. Thank you.